Today I want to give you a short demonstration on using the Spectrum Technologies AC meter. And uh, I'm going to use this area of a green. You can see there's some slope. And it's a little low over in this spot. Over here. It looks like the salts are high and turf is stressed. And over on this side, it's a little bit uh, greener. So we'll try to take a look at those and uh, see how the EC measurements compare in the good performing versus the somewhat stressed area of the turf. Okay, the way I like to use this meter is to uh, pick an area that you're looking for and then you gently push the probe directly into the surface of the turf, making sure that uh, you have a constant motion and watch the readings as the meter goes up and down through the layer. And you take the highest reading that you see as you're pushing through that layer. In this case, we're getting about a 1.8 uh, reading on the field scout. If the area appears to be dry, in this case it wasn't a dry pro uh, dryness problem, uh, you can put a little bit of water uh, on the area also, and you can see it's hydrophobic there a little bit, and then uh, gently push the meter in to see how the readings compare uh, without the moisture. In this case, they were coming out the same in the, uh, in the area, and you test um, two to three locations to be sure that you're getting a consistent reading in the and then go ahead and uh, write that number down uh, for the record and then move on to the good performing area. Now let's take a look at the good performing area. So we'll just move over and uh, repeat the process up there. Uh, the moisture content's good in this, uh, in this green, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, take one reading up in this area just to uh, see how it goes. And uh, we get a reading as you push it in gently, it'll go up and uh, then back down as you get through that surface layer and the reading uh, was about 1.1. We can put a little bit of water on here but you can see in uh, this case that the water just pretty much runs right off. Uh, but uh, taking a couple of additional readings, the readings all were falling about that same level of about 1.1 and that's equivalent to a saturated paste extract of about 3.8 decisiemens per meter. Okay, in addition to using the EC meter in the field, you can also use the meter in, in your office if you want to, if you want to take a look at some samples. Uh, right here we've got a couple of samples from uh, a rapid blight infected green. We've been talking a lot about rapid blight because it's a salinity and sodium affected disease. So let's take a look at how we might use the EC meter in the lab. It's fairly simple. The EC meter we're using is a uh, Spectrum Technologies Field Scout EC meter and this seems to be the one that uh, is the easiest to use and is quite reliable in the field. So let me see if I can just show you how uh, we would use it. I'm going to try to hold these two together here. And we'll see if we get this on, on camera. Not so easy sometimes. But here's what we like to do is we like to take the, the, this, the probe and stick it right into the side of the thatch layer, right up at the top. And I don't know if you can see that on there, but it's running about 1.45 so it's close to 1.5 on the meter and you can spin the sample around a little bit and stick it in another area just to make sure you're getting a good reading went up to 1.5 then if you break contact it'll uh, come down 1.58 so there you go that's uh, 1.6 that's as easy as uh, it could be uh, this is not the newest Field Scout EC meter. There's a newer model out. This part of the meter is a little bit different, but this probe that you can stick directly into the soil uh, continues to be the uh, easiest one to use. Now let's take a look at the turf grass salinity guidelines for POA and see how the numbers that we saw in the field relate to the uh, guideline values. In the healthy POA Field Scout readings, we received a 1.1 decisiemen per meter reading. We need to convert that to a saturated paste extract to be able to compare to uh, standard publications and to do that you multiply that number 1.1 times 2.7 and add 0.8. The real result is 3.8 decisiemens per meter. Uh, the literature and uh, observations we've made, out, made throughout the years indicate that 4 decisiemens per meter is tolerable by POA. That doesn't mean it's optimum but it can tolerate it. The optimum would be a saturated paste extract of less than 2 decisiemens per meter or 0.4 on the field scout reading. Now let's take a look at the stress turf that we took some readings on. And in that case, we uh, got a field scout reading of 1.8 decisiemens per meter. 
to convert that uh, number to a saturated paste extract, we run it through the same equation, and the result is 5.7 decisiemens per meter saturated paste extract equivalent. Now we know that that's above the uh, tolerance of POA. It's, uh, that doesn't mean that the POA is going to die, it just means it's going to be stressed. The higher the salt readings go, the more likely that there's going to be increased F stress, and eventually you will kill the POA. So we're still looking for an optimum reading of uh, less than 2 decisiemens per meter with a saturated paste extract or less than 0.4 on the field scout. Now if you have uh, higher readings than those, then you would like to try to leach those down to uh, get a better reading, reduce the stress, reduce diseases like anthracnose and rapid blight and even uh, secondary diseases such as curvularia.